Hi! I'm a failure. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's okay. If you do know what I'm talking about, that's good because that means that you watched my other videos. Like I said before, I am on spring break this week, but I'm in the community college system and my friends had spring break last week. Well, I was stuck in finals. I did get to hang out with them a lot though, so that was pretty cool. I missed them a lot, so spending some time with them was really awesome. And I was kind of bummed. It's hard to make a lot of new friends while in community college, while they are living with all of their new friends. That's not to say that going to community college is a bad choice. It was the right choice for me. But that's a topic for another video. But nonetheless, it is kind of disappointing to not have the experience that you expect when you leave high school and go away to college. And because of that, my friends made this for me when we met up while they were here. And it's so sweet of them. And thank you guys so much. That was awesome of you. You guys are awesome. I love you. And thank you, thank you, thank you. So this video is for you guys and for everybody else who wants to have a friendship as awesome as the one I have with these four awesome girls. So as you can see from my title, I'm gonna tell you guys how to make a lasting friendship based on the experiences that I have had with these awesome girls. My friends and I have a rule. It's called open communication. Open communication is a concept where when you have an issue with someone in the group, you address them directly about it instead of going to everybody else in your friend's group and talking to them about it and trying to solve the problem. It's way more efficient than that. It doesn't even necessarily have to be if you have a disagreement with somebody or if you have a problem with somebody. It can just be if you're not really sure how to approach them about something that you, are, you want to talk about. For example, if one of your friends just broke up with her boyfriend and you really aren't sure what she needs, does she need you to be there and to talk about it? Does she need you to slam him? Does she need you to just leave her alone and give her some space? Then you ask her instead of asking all your other friends. That's basically what open communication is and having that in our friendship has made us so much closer and so much more comfortable with each other than we would have been if we'd never introduced that concept into our friendship. The sleepovers, my friends and I do talk about girl stuff, but we also talk about things like religion and politics and social issues. I mean, if you do talk about just girl stuff like boys and makeup and shopping and things like that, that's fine. If that's what drives your friendship, go for it. But because this is what my friends and I do, we think it's awesome and so it's awesome. My point is you should have things to talk about and have substance to your conversation. One thing that I think is really important in keeping a good, long-lasting friendship is having things in common with each other. But along those same lines and on a kind of different level, I think it's really, 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 really important to have the same sense of humor. A friend with whom you have laughed is a friend you will not forget. That's something that my mom told me many, many years ago. And I think it's definitely true. Even some friends I'm not really in touch with anymore that I did have a great time with and did laugh with a lot and haven't forgotten them and I never will. So of course you can't have the same sense of humor if you don't have things in common and if you don't find the same things funny. But just because you have things in common doesn't mean you have the same sense of humor. So I think that they're both really important just that the second one is more important than the first. My friends and I at this point are just so close that sometimes just the randomest cues will just set us off and we will just start cracking up. And that is awesome because that will stay with us forever. Something I think me and my friends have that is also really valuable to our friendship is Privacy. I realize the irony of this because I am now putting my friendship on the internet in the open. But what I mean is that when we have something private to say to each other, we do it privately. We don't put long messages of how much we love each other on each other's Facebook wall, fight on Facebook most of the time. If you do do that, that's whatever. I'm not judging you. I'm not saying that that's the wrong way to do things. I just think that this is one of the things that made my friendship flourish so well. And finally, the last thing that I think is really important for any friendship to have is love and care for each other's feelings. Although this might not be very obviously shown in my friendships, it doesn't mean it's not there. I still love you guys. But it is true, we do love each other. I mean, that says it all. Just the fact that my friends would go to the effort to put something together for me to cheer me up is touching and sweet and it means so much that they would do that for me and I would do the same thing for them. I have the kind of friends who go out of their way to come meet me if I call them on the phone crying because someone betrayed me in a way that I can't even describe. I have the kind of friends who will try their hardest to surprise me 
on my birthday no matter how difficult I make it for them because I'm being a clueless weirdo. I have the kind of friends who I would love to surprise on their birthdays and I have done. I have the kind of friends who will put up with me when I'm at my worst and they will tell me straight faced that I am at my worst at that moment and tell me to shut up. I have the kind of friends who are amazing and wonderful and absolutely irreplaceable. Thank you guys for still being here even though you're not here anymore. And for those of you watching who aren't my friends and who don't know me very well, this is me trying to be the person I am with my friends in front of the camera for you guys. Because like I said way back when I started this, this is a project to find myself. And so far I think I'm doing a pretty good job, even though I failed at my one challenge. I will be back with a video tomorrow. Bye bye.